Libby here. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm finally going to take you for the pantry tour I have been promising for some time. So this is the pantry in our kitchen. This is where the bulk of our um, food, I guess, that's not refrigerated is kept. So I'll just give you a little overview and then I'll um, kind of show you shelf by shelf. Now this is kind of fairly fully stocked at the minute. At the top we have a defibrillator. <laughs> Mode for safety nerd spare containers for when I'm doing meal prep. Um, that's a little fondue thing. I kept it, bought it for Kevin a few years ago. Some lollipops. They're um, nice ones actually from doorstep. Nice little get natural organic ones. Some microwave popcorn and containers that was a gift for Athena. We don't really use microwave popcorn so that's why they stayed there. <laughs> I'll take you right through. So I've got some like packet dinners or prep half dinners, some Crowley Wild Rice. In here is more sort of packet stuff. We don't have a lot of packet foods, but there's some lentils and some quinoa and taco burrito seasoning mix. Um, corn chips, we've got our packet of corn chips. This is my little tub of um <laughs> My thing, so we have got blue corn chips. We've got some vegetable chips in there, some um, orange chocolate, dark chocolate, little bits and pieces that sort of I only I eat. And it's Kevin's one. I won't bother to get his down. You can kind of get the idea. He's two eggs and Nutella, <laughs> and twice the size of my basket. Okay, coming down, we have. It's basically nuts and seeds, and that's some um, little snack container. But this one pulled out, nice and easy to get. Things. So we've got, as you want some more detail, we've got what have we got? Sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, slivered almonds, macadamia nuts, poppy seeds, some prunes, flax seeds, uh, pistachios. Then we have. Uh, pumpkin seeds that was some peanuts like one recipe that uses peanuts pine nuts walnuts chocolate goji berries chocolate goji berries these are really nice and some plain goji berries which i can probably almost get ready get rid of them i think because i haven't used them in a long time and they're probably past their best this is the brookvale what do they call it trail mix kind of thing really like that that's really nice we get that from we buy it from Costco and a big big thing but you can get a supermarket as well so we've got cocoa powder this one's nearly finished <laughs> the one below it is the replacement for it but I just stuck it there um what do we got shredded coconut and some chalk bits they're the dark ones and name Kirkland <laughs> some sultanas that's a mix that Kevin likes, such as cranberries and sultanas or raisins. And I think I had some like milk uh, chalk bits in that container before because these are obviously a vegan ones. We've got coconut flour, coconut, desiccated coconut, cocoa powder, coconut chips. Don't really do a lot with them, but I sometimes add them to a green smoothie. We've got buckwheat flour, rice bran flour, hemp seeds, and popcorn. Red lentils, brown lentils, quinoa, fancy mixed quinoa, barley, slip peas, that's cornmeal I believe, <laughs> or polenta, same thing, savoury yeast flakes, black beans, as you can see I've, I go through, I wanted to sort of do my own beans but I never really get off the ground with them so I've still got black beans, cracked wheat, sushi rice, almond meal, Barley flour, which I use for my favourite cheer cookies that I make, and TV couch. I went to the health food shop yesterday and there was something else I, need, I knew I needed to restock on. Couldn't think of it. That's what it was. Down here I've got all my rices. So I've got, um, that's Jungara rice, which is like a high fibre, low GI rice, but it's still a white rice. A Borea rice and brown rice, which is the one we mainly use. I've got two perfect fit protein powders, chocolate and vanilla. Pow milk, powdered milk. I really only use that in one soup recipe that I make. Arrowroot, baking powder. 
some basmati rice. I like our rice somewhere else too, I believe. No, that's probably it. Uh, rice crumbs. Again, not sure whether I still really need them, but I'll obviously use them on stage. Almonds. Use a little from almond milk and for different baking things and cashews. Um, yeah, I didn't have cashews in the other area, so then we've got this is the cereal that I quite like to celebrate health one in Australia. Rice and quinoa breakfast cereal. I'm not a big cereal person and I really like that, but obviously it doesn't all fit in that container, so I've got some there loose. I just have that with some um slow milk and maple syrup got two types of chia seeds, so I've got just the normal black mixed one and then I've just got some plain of the white ones too which I prefer if I'm making like a chia pudding, I prefer the look of just the white chia seeds. Still floating around this little snack bag, I probably should have put it in here with the full size ones, I don't know it's going to fall out or not. And obviously rolled oats, go through a lot of them, just got a little cereal muesli thing there, sample pack and some tortilla chips that I'm sort of in the middle of eating. This is my bread bin. This is working out really well. If you watch me read you my pantry mm, a month or so ago, I set this up like that and it's working really well. And on top I can just put red rolls if we've got them all. Since it's Easter hot cross buns, the wraps sit flat and that's an older loaf of bread. So I've just got that one sitting out. But yeah, it's working really, really well. Then in here I've got all that sort of healthy uh, healthy stuff, healthy spreads and stuff. So we've got some rice malt syrup, molasses, coconut butter, peanut, coconut spread. And we've got crunchy peanut butter. We're not peanut butter people, but sometimes you need them for recipes. Kevin bought this banana butter and hasn't eaten it. Cacao bliss, that's really nice. And then we've got tahini, which I use for making. What do I make with that? Hummus. <laughs> and then we've got some raw almond nut butter. Again, for recipes. Virgin coconut or extra virgin coconut oil. Little vanilla bean paste and then vanilla bean extract. So they all live in there. And this is kind of the snack area. So I've got the tray. Again, this is a video. I set this up in that video. For kids' lunches and well, for Kevin and Christy's lunches now, and just for snacks, just sort of wanting a snack, they're in there. And then we've got like the kind bars and the lunar bars there, and some soups. Actually, I might sort of rearrange this a little bit, and um, because that's one of those packet soups which is in a different area. But yeah, and a miso cup. Then I've got some little fruit tub things there. They actually might be able to go in the front of that. And this is kind of Kevin's stuff that he likes. So these bounce bars, bounce balls that we, we get from Costco. And the Annie's fruit strips that we get from Costco as well. And then I've got also from Costco. <laughs> these are Mrs. May little crunch things. That's the new packaging actually. These are really nice. But there are two serves in a packet. So often I will end up with a little packet serve like that. And I think at the back I've just got some mixed nuts and seeds that I've bought. No, from I heard some um, corn crisp bread in the back, and then don't not a fan of these ones. I don't know where I got them from, but I'll go back to buying the normal the normal ones above, which I can't remember the name of. And I'll find a container when I get them. It's a couple of oh two a whole two Jets crackers. <laughs> Why we have two Jets crackers? I don't know. This is my blender bottle for if I'm making up smoothies or also it just smoothies and water. So I've still got some loose packets of those which are great for travelling. And then the coconut, perfectly coconut, coconut water, which I'm thinking, I don't know the expiry date on those, 2016, so they've still got a while to go. And then I've just got the girls' rice crackers. And then we just have the girls rice crackers and my crackers which are the Mary's Gone crackers. Got just a few of the pretzels in the back and this is another mix that we get from Costco. I can't remember what it is if you want me to let you know I can find that. It's like a savoury mix. In here I've got our dates. Now I was keeping them in the fridge and then they, but they're all, unless they're really super fresh they tend to um, 
be a bit too hard to use. So I used to kit them out and then I kept them in the fridge and now I've kept them back out again. And I've just got some, well, I think I bought these packet soups. I don't like them, the ingredients are pretty nasty, but she wanted to have some of them. Let's see, we've got stevia and then we've got like Rapadura sugar, nativia, or nat nativ nativa, I don't know how you pronounce it, coconut sugar, corn flour, a few extra baking things. I'll probably get rid of this, I bought it and no one particularly likes it, so there's not much point keeping it. I've got a limited selection of tin things here. Now that our spare pantry, which I'll show you soon, is so close and handy, I don't need to keep as many tinned items here because it's just really a few steps to the next room to get any tinned items I need for a particular meal. So I've just got some down sort of sizing that. Down here we have, I don't know if they've got a label, have they got a label? Yeah, we do. So I've just got my two spelt flowers, a white, and then the back's a whole meal spelt flower. Um, what's left of the wheat bix? So, <laughs> I guess I bought a new box and I don't know whether I'll transfer them or not. Some rice bubbles. Got some Milo. I need to get the malt Milo to go with that. And this is some instant oatmeal there. Every so often someone will ask for it, but not very often, so I've just put it there with the other cereals anyway. And there's some hot chocolate mixes that I think Kevin picked up somewhere. This is our, our dog food section. So we've got their vegan dog dry dog food that they have and some treats in there. And their Kongs and then a basket full of pasta, sort of pasta. And there's some sushi, our sushi mats there and some sushi, some nori roll and rice paper rolls, onions, potatoes. And then down here we have like sort of these plasticky tumbler things and our drink bottles and then these cups that we got on the cruise last year. My KitchenAid mixer though, someone sort of put it in the wrong way at the minute, <laughs> but anyway. And then the attachments for the KitchenAid mixer. And then here I've just, there's a few sort of drink cordial kind of things, I don't know, they're not mine so I don't know what, what is there. And all my spare jars and my lunch bag that I got from Costco. And then we've got obviously a bag, full of plastic bags and our aprons are here. So that is that pantry. Not officially, I guess this is kind of pantry stuff. So I'll just show you beside the hot plate here. Just got oils or some oils. Actually most of the oils are under the cupboard. <laughs> I think most of our oils and stuff are down there to keep them in the dark. But we've got some sprays, salt and pepper, honey. I think that sesame oil and some balsamic vinegars and stuff are there. Herbs and spices are all there. And sort of um, extra things are up the top there. And then another pantry is just down here. So, so this is our stockpile pantry in the spa room. So as you can see, it took a few steps to get from one to the other, so not very far at all. This is kind of organized, but it's not perfect by any means. It is fully stocked at the minute. I've done Costco grocery shop this week and also a big, fairly big shop at the supermarket. So there's not really much that's missing at the moment. So Kieran's got his Bundaberg rum in the background that I think he bought in bulk at the factory. Um, tomato ketchup, which we go through a lot of, a lot of these, so they're from Costco as well. These are the salsas that we get from Costco. Really like them. And this is taco sauce we've probably had forever. Lentils that we got from Costco. Tomato paste, <laughs> again from Costco, so we have lots. Um, so we've got some pasta sauces, and in the back is tomato purees. Uh, they're also from Costco. So the vegetable stock, bonsai milk, and then just some coconut milks. And I think I've got a few of them in the other pantry. So it's just a rice bran oil in the background there, maple syrup, one of the Costco coconut sprays and a little spare thing of chili. Probably should be somewhere else. Then we've got a lot of tinned items. So when you can see, we've got a variety of different brands because it just depends when they've been collected. So I've got these ones from Aldi that we've probably had for years and then there's the ones from Coles. So we've got a tinned tomatoes, corn kernels, they came bought in bulk from, um, from Costco, spaghetti from Costco. And just some little ones. I need to get some baked beans because I've only got, I think, one big one in the other pantry. Refried black beans from Costco. <laughs> the Coles Mexican chili beans, black beans. And then these isn't really organised. This is all our beans and lentils and chickpeas. They're sort of all 
interspersed in into those <laughs> areas there. Down the bottom you can see we've got some soups, Costco and Costco. <laughs> Can you tell we like to shop in the back there is asparagus and just um just some spare things that if you ever needed you know we don't really tend to use these but they're kind of they're a stockpile pantry so in an emergency or couldn't something bad happened and we couldn't get to the shops or whatever the shops blew up i don't know we've got food <laughs> plenty of food as you can tell pineapple slices these um i think i just got from costco um big tins of fruits and stuff again because they just keep forever um, beetroot and then we've got a whole lot of these little ones for um, snacks and for lunches and stuff the apple puree I was using in baking so there's quite a few of them there and then down here Kevin's got some of his drinks we've got the soda stream which we don't really use very often and all the bottles for that I need to tidy up this area a bit more um, more soda stream stuff and this is kind of exploding with yeah so we've got like spare um, glad wrap and foil paper towel, a uh, spare drink bottle <laughs> and baking paper and fly spray and air regard stuff like that and then these are all our little because again Kevin buys everything in more than one so he buys them in bulk from on, e on, buys them in bulk on eBay so we've got these cream charges for our creamer thing whatever I call it, I don't know what it's called and then okay I'll start from down the bottom so we've got all our chips and Stacey's peanut chips, all from Costco. <laughs> um, some are they Adventure Time cookies. I don't know. Apparently they're for parties or something, or for kids over. Some coconut waters and a big, huge big box of the Snaplock little black bags, which will take us forever to get through. Uh, detergent again from Costco. Rice. <laughs> And then we have um, the whole grain pasta, that's the one we usually give to the dogs for dinner. Some other spare pastas and some pine nuts, they probably shouldn't be in there. I'm not sure probably be in that one. And then these are some sauces I think that Kevin got for Christmas. Um, three bags of almonds and Mary's one crackers which I love. We've just been to Costco so this is like to last us the next month so I've got a big stock. <laughs> And then these are like seeds and flowers and lentils. Uh, what else we've got in there? Some fancy rice, spare coconut, those sort of spare things of that. Two lots of rolled oats. And there's some coconut sugar at the background and a spare um, self raising flour. One of the instant brown rices. And then here we've got sort of this, the big, because they're from Costco, you buy such big packets. And then we just re put into smaller containers in the pantry. So it's the tiles and the craisins and then that's the chocolate chips because you can see they've been opened and I just take it like just fill up the glass jar in the pantry. Some banana chips, I don't know who got them. And then this is sort of more snack sort of stuff. So just got some spare jets crackers and some other crackers. Luna bars and kind bars, they're all from iHerb. So I got some just some spicy barbecue corn chips and Christy likes this light, lightly salted, slightly sweet popcorn. Some tar some soft taco kit. So we've got those. We gave from Costco. A couple of soups, and then this is some more snack things here. So this is that bargy barger mix that I was talking about that we gave me with covered in the other pantry. The Annie's fruit leathers, and that's the brook rail. What do they call it? I just call it a walk along mix that I showed you and because she likes the jumpies for her lunch and then this is kind of like whatever doesn't fit in there <laughs> so I'm not even sure what's in this basket don't pull it out to be heavy at the minute so it looks like we've got some like salt and oh I don't know what have we got spare herbs and things like that yeah salt rice flour I saw some rice flour somewhere else and there's some uh, coconut chips. I bought them from Costco and I've never really used them in a little bag, so I don't know. I've got some spare spare tahini and cranberry sauce and garlic. Some small, small, some more of these packet mixes in the back. I hide <laughs> the chocolate supplies, chocolate bits and milks and stuff. It's sneaky, aren't I? You've got to be out of sight. And just some few other random things that I don't know, just collected there. And then in that blue, we've got 
barbecue supplies cups I need to move over because I've now started a big basket for cups. So it's still very messy at the top. The blue bag has other packets of chips. The smaller packets that I have to keep out of sight or they go walkabouts. So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed seeing in my main kitchen pantry and the spare pantry or our stockpile pantry. It's working so well being close to the kitchen because it's just really an extension of the pantry and as you can see we aren't going to be starving anytime soon. The fridge and both freezers are fully stocked as well <laughs> but as I said it is full at the moment. The only thing I know that we're missing is taco shells because <laughs> I forgot to get them. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you've got any questions about anything feel free to ask and I'll see what I can do to answer you and see you again very soon. Bye.